Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So I have been seeing a lot of drawing Pokemon from memory, especially from Casey Golden, who I'm a very big fan of. Um, she recently did another video about it where she's done some in the past and it's made me want to do something from memory. But since I am a great lover of Pokemon, I thought it might be fun to try to do something that wasn't Pokemon or maybe down the line. I'll do Pokemon from memory, but what I wanted to do was dinosaurs from memory. A lot of people know me um, as someone who is obsessed with dinosaurs. In fact, my wedding ring, um, the black is supposed to be meteorite and the blue is dinosaur fossil. Um, and I mean, I tell my students that it's dinosaur bone, but it's not really dinosaur bone because dinosaur bone doesn't exist because of the fossilization process and even just sitting here on my desk I have a, a dinosaur pin and I have a carve out a dinosaur toy and I have a little thing one of these guys sitting on my desk and then I've also got this dude here, where he's like anatomical on this side and all fleshy on this side. So I, I do quite like the dinosaurs. So I have a good friend of mine who is going to feed me dinosaur names kind of at random. Um, I'm doing this because every generator I have found shows a picture of the dinosaur and not just the name. And I would really like to be challenged and try to remember what these look like. So we will see how well I do. Um, let's see if she's ready to hit me with a dinosaur name. All right, I have a name and it is a Protoceratops. Oh, come on. Try harder than that. So, Protoceratops is a small ceratopsid. Um... And it's actually really cute because it's got the Triceratops head, but it stands on two legs mostly. It's smaller, so I'm going to fit it in one of these smaller ones. I think I'm going to put it in this one here in this corner. I'm going to be drawing these pretty cartoony because, you know, fun and adorable. Let's think of a good pose. A nice good jelly bean body. And then we've got the head, and then they've got cute little front legs. They're they're kind of theropod-like, standing on two legs. And they don't walk like this. They walk more like they're on all fours. But I don't have a lot of space for that. So this one's all rearing up and interested in something. I believe they have more pointy cheeks, a little bit of a brow, not a horn, kind of a brow, and then they have a bit of a frill. Oh, it's so cute. And like I said, this guy I'm, I'm drawing kind of like he's rearing up and interested in something, but their front legs are definitely smaller than their back legs, which are beefy compared to these cute little hands. And then they've got, you know, their tail, and I believe they had some spines. <clears throat> so there's a little bit of the ceratops ink. Let's add him some color. Every time I think of ceratopsids, I think of yellows because of Land Before Time and Sarah. My husband hates Sarah. I think he, she was awesome and strong and independent. So let's go in here. Start giving this little guy some color. Little Ceratops. 
Ninjas. Okay, so spiky cheek I got. I did not give him much of a bump on his nose. Tail with spines. Smaller short legs, bigger back legs. Beak. And frill. I don't think I did a very bad job here. Go All right, me. we got another one. Let me see what I've got. Okay, this is apparently my friend's favorite, Gallimimus. Um, every time I think of Gallimimus, I think of ostriches. Um, it's the, the long, skinny dinosaurs um, from Jurassic Park. And they got this really long neck. In fact, I think I'm going to break my boxes I've given myself here and kind of let the Gallimimus's neck be ridiculous. And they've got a really bird-like face. Where my pencil go? So Gallimimus's face is very ostrich-like. And they got like a really big eye. I mean, all of my drawings are going to have big eyes because it's kind of how I'm drawing them. But they, they naturally have a really big eye and then like this very gunk gunk bird-like face. Very long neck. Cute little, you know, hands and then just legs for days. Very bird-like, ostrich-like face. This one looks kind of concerned. <laughs> the tail, as far as I know, Gallimimuses didn't have feathers of any sort. At least in any of the ones I've ever seen. We don't know what color dinosaurs really were. I remember reading an article once that we actually, uh, mm -hmm. they found out that dinosaurs had the same compound eye structure, I believe, as colorful birds. And they took that as meaning that there's a good chance that dinosaurs may have been colorful as well. Um, so that way they could see the colors of potential mates or something along those lines. Um, and I've always liked the idea of super colorful dinosaurs. I mean, who wouldn't? It's fun. And there we go. Gallimimus. Let's see how I do. Uh, computer. Gallimimus. All right, so bird-like head, tiny little front arm, super long legs, tail could have been thinner. Oh, I didn't realize it's much there. Oh, well, tail could have been thinner, and that could have been a couple of things, but overall, I think I did a pretty good job. All right, gather my yeah, our third one. It is the Pachycephalosaurus. Originally, she just said uh, Pachy, but that could have been a Pachyrhinosaurus as well as a Pachycephalosaurus. God, I sound like a nerd, but I love dinosaurs. 
if you guys haven't noticed. Hmm, where to put this one? It's, it's, I, I jokingly call them bonky bonks because they've got the round dome heads. Um, and they actually are considering that evolutionarily the Draco Rex and the um, Pexiflosaurus uh, are actually in the same family line. The Draco Rex has less of a dome. Um, it's more flat and kind of spiky. And I think maybe as this dinosaur ages, they get a bigger dome. So the packing of the Draco Rex might actually be the same dinosaur. Because they're actually kind of... I mean, they're smaller dinosaurs, but they're... Kind of bigger than what you would think they are. And stand on two legs. Like all of the dinosaurs she's been giving me today. <clears throat> I got their cute little hands. And then they actually have like little beak faces. And then their big bonky bonk heads. And they have muscular necks to deal with their big bonky bonk heads. Mm. I know their tails don't bend enough to do this in real life, but I like the proportion of it. So forgive me for doing a little bit of stylization here. I actually have pretty small eyes compared to some of the other dinos we've done for this one. Cheeks. I feel like their cheeks aren't that wide far back, but it's kind of late now. I put down the pen. I'm actually pretty sure these guys do have these big old fat fingers, and this isn't too much of stylization, but I could be wrong. Stylization question mark? He's <laughs> such a beefy boy. Not sure if they're actually supposed to. No. Well, I mean, they're beefy to a point. Because they're pretty strong doodobbers. I think I've done this one probably a little too beefy in general. Let's see how I did. Okay, um, I guess the top of his nose is more square. I slanted mine down a little bit. And the spikes off the back of the head are a bit more intense and a much longer tail like the tail should have gone like all the way up so yeah there's no way he could counterbalance that head with that teeny tiny little head um his front legs are much more hand like so i messed up there um but besides that I think it's a pretty good job. He's a little bonky bonk. He's cute. So I went to my husband for this he's next one. Um, he complained that all the dinosaurs that he's familiar with are old ones, so it would be easy to draw. So I asked him to give me what he would consider a, a difficult dinosaur, and he has given me Gorgosaurus. Um, specifically, uh, because I know he likes Gorgosaurus, um, I believe it was Eminem? Or another such person of musical or you know uh, famous person and uh, the story goes that uh, Eminem was complaining that people always ask the same questions about music and about that but no one ever asks the fun questions like what is your favorite dinosaur and uh, his favorite dinosaur is in fact the Gorgosaurus I believe the Gorgosaurus uh, was a carnivorous theropod and kind of like a beefy boy. Um, not quite like a T-Rex or anything like that. There wasn't a, that much of a ratio difference, but it did have a, you know, fat head, 
that body. Okay, this is kind of an idea. I know they have something over their eyes, so if I gave him eyes here, he's got kind of a psh, 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 over his eyes. And, and if I remember correctly, these guys have some chonk to them, at least in the renditions I've seen. They're not like uh, Carnos that are lithe and cheetah-like. These guys are like... And again, I know dinosaur tails don't actually swoosh around very much. I'm trying to keep them rigid, but you're also trying to cram them into a limited space. I think the Gorgosaurus had some frills. I might be wrong. I know he's got a big, chunky head. So that's the uh, Gorgosaurus. Let's see how the eye did. Gorgosaurus. Okay, so chunky boy, big head, not exactly uh, T-Rex shape. The head's a little bit longer than I gave him. I gave him a shorter head. I thought he was on the side of having the short muzzles, so I did get that wrong. Um, but he does have horns over his eyes. They look a little bit more like um, actual horns where I gave him like frilly crests. So not bad, not bad. So I think I did pretty good. And hilariously enough, I realized I gave him almost a very similar <laughs> Uh, color scheme to the Gorgosaurus in Jurassic World Alive, the phone game. So go me. I was wondering where I was getting the inspiration for this weird blue green. And the dinosaur that I have yellow red monster. My friend so there we is go. the iguanodon. Now the iguanodon is one of my favorite two-legged herbivores um, because it's actually got a really cool history. Let me find my. So the iguanodon was one of the first dinosaurs that people tried to make kind of statues of. And the statues of the Iguanodon can be found in London at a place called Crystal Palace Park. At the Crystal Palace Park, um, long as time ago, like 18 something, maybe early 19, there was a guy who created these giant statues. There was a, a big collection of history and agricultural objects and there was of course you know some creepy you know humans from other parts of the world savages kind of stuff but we are talking about you know ancient or not ancient but uh, industrial age Britain British people so you've got the expansion of the British Empire and all that so it does kind of come with some negatives. Um, anyway, so this guy created these dinosaur statues and the first ones that were created and it was really hilarious because uh, the Iguanodon has this spike on its thumb and they thought that that spike on the thumb actually went on its nose and they put together the Iguanodon skeleton so it kind of looked like this big fat lizard uh, and I think they even made it a carnivore. Um, and, you know, as time has gone on, we've realized that was a thumb spike used for digging and all of that. So the Iguanodon actually is perpetually giving you the thumbs up, uh, which is something I constantly find amusing. Um, but it's one of my favorite dinosaurs because of the history, and I actually got the opportunity last summer to go to the Crystal Palace Park um, and see the dinosaurs. I've kind of wanted to see them since I was a little girl. So that was a really cool experience. And then um, I was given the opportunity to help the Crystal Palace Park raise money for restorations to the dinosaurs. Um, so I donated some artwork. Uh, so that was a really cool experience as well. And um, yeah, so the Guanadon's kind of really cool for me. <clears throat> and I realize it's been funny, I've been able to tell you a little bit about all of these dinosaurs just off the top of my head. And if I get anything wrong, 
Um, forgive me, because again, this is just what I know about these guys off the top of my head. And I'm not a paleontologist. I am just a girl who likes dinosaurs. This is again kind of an awkward position to squeeze an iguanodon in on because um, their bodies were very like leaned down um, a little bit and their tails stuck straight out. Um, they are believed to have had the ability to walk on all four and on two legs so they could kind of switch depending on the locomotion needed which is really cool. The Disney animated film um, Dinosaur, the, the main character of that is an Iguanodon. Um, and that's where a lot of people know the Iguanodon from as well. And this has been a fun experience. I definitely want to do this some more. Maybe see if I can get some more dinosaurs that are a little more likely to stump me. Um, but I have had fun. <clears throat> the fact that I've known so much about these guys. Um, my, my extreme dinosaur prowess is something that, you know, my friends know about and stuff, but I don't really get to express very often. It also might be fun just to do um, regular animals too from memory, because there are a bunch of, you know, unusual and weird animals out there as well, so... That could be fun. Alright, so our last guy was a Guanodon. Um, let's see how I did. I have the longer head. He does have a bit of a beak along the edge of his mouth, which I have the shape, but I didn't do the texture. And he's got his little thumb hands. His fingers are actually a little skinnier. He's got more of fingery hands and big hoofy hands, but he does have his thumb. He does kind of have a hunched over body. I could have brought his back up a little higher. But all in all, I think I did pretty good. He's probably the least accurate of the one I've which is hilarious because he's actually one of the ones I kind of know more about, but also I'm going to blame that a lot on the angle. So to recap, we have Protoceratops. We have Gallimimus, we have Pachycephalosaurus, we have Gorgosaurus, and we have Guanodon. That is five dinosaurs from memory. In the comments below, let me know how I did. Uh, feel free to comment any other dinosaurs that you would like to see if I can do from memory. I might do them on separate papers next time rather than cramming them all together so that way I have more freedom for body shapes. But all in all, I think I did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? Let me know. All right. Bye. Can you tell what my last one was? I don't. I didn't see which one's new. This one. No, I don't know that one. Do so you notice that he has thumbs? Yes, I do, but I don't know. Who has thumbs? We were talking about this earlier. I mean, they, they didn't have those dinosaurs when I was a kid. They did have this guy. I don't think they did. Oh, well, unless you're... That's not a dinosaur. An iguanodon is not a dinosaur? Is it? Yeah. Did they not make it not a dinosaur when Demetrodon was made not a dinosaur? Demetrodon's still a dinosaur? Well, Demetrodon's never been a dinosaur. No, no, iguanodon is still a dinosaur. Remember we saw them in Crystal Palace? Sweetie, half the stuff we saw at Crystal Palace was completely fake. <laughs> Remember when iguanodons looked like iguanas according to Crystal Palace? Yeah. But they who who Remember who? the photobotosaurus? <clears throat>